Hey YouTube, this is Zendikari Animus, and I'm bringing my Zendikon, my Mono Green Zendikon deck tech. Uh, before I get into the actual card choices I've made, and I want to go over a bit of the philosophy and design ideas I have for this deck. The deck was designed to be a Nyssa themed deck. As a result, I tried to stick almost exclusively with elves and elemental creatures for the deck, uh, specifically the Zendikons for my elemental creatures. Uh, the Zendikons are enchantments that turn your land into creatures. Uh, they both, well, this is Zendikon gives haste, and Fast Zendikon can effectively have haste if you put on a land that's already been in play for a turn. I assume that Wizards chose to give have this Zendikon explicitly give to get to explicitly give haste in order to prevent confusion on what land you put it on. Uh, the thing about the Zendikons is though that because they enchant a land, if you want to attack with them the turn you play, you'll need an untapped land in addition to whatever mana you have already. Which makes this effectively a five mana card, and this effectively a six mana card if you want to attack with it. Uh, because so because so to get to those high numbers, we run a bunch of mana dwarfs: Lanor Elves, Drew the Cowl, Leaf Gilder, and uh, Lanor Visionary. These cards are uh, very important. They help uh, ramp into your Zendikons very uh, very quickly. Ideally, you can go uh, play two of them before turn four, and then attack with this on turn four, which is always very fun. Among um, the cards I'm running, I'm running four Ranger Scout to protect the Zendikons, and four Ram Through for removal. I'm also running two Death Crown Dissident as a late game Mana Sink and an early game Beater, and two Cross and Tusker. Now this card is not an Elf or an Elemental, it's a Boar Beast, um, and I put it in mainly for the card advantage and the cycling. Uh, I did end up playing in one game because I just had nothing else going on and I didn't I didn't trust my deck. I didn't think if I cycled that I would draw something important. I think it felt a 6 5 would have been more useful at the time. Uh, but the thing is, it actually, in general, has not, I feel, I feel, has not been pulling its weight very well. Um, it just hasn't been doing what I wanted to do enough. So I think I might cut it for two more dissident or something else. I haven't decided what yet. As for the sideboard, uh, I'm running four Healer of the Glade against aggro decks, four Plummet, though it, that might come out too because there aren't that, that many flyers in the format. Four Return to Nature to deal with Artifacts, Enchantments, and Graveyard Synergy. Uh, there's this one game I played a while ago where I was playing against a Sanitarium Skeleton deck, and had I drawn this card, I think the game would have gone a lot differently. And the last card I'm running on the sideboard is Thicket Crasher, because the Zendikons, as powerful as they are and fast as they are, they don't have Trample. And so Thicket Crasher gives them Trample against token decks and against chump decks with a lot of chump blockers in case uh, I have trouble getting my damage through. Uh, as far, so as far as the deck performance, it didn't go very well this this league. I've I've done better in previous leagues before I started YouTubing, but um, it just it didn't work as well as it can, I feel it can. I do feel it has some legs to it, but maybe this isn't the best build. Maybe I should try adding another color. Um, but the haste, the big powerful hasty creatures, is definitely something uh, that I think can be expanded on, and maybe with the right combination of support cards, it could might be able to get somewhere. I don't know, but it's a lot of fun to play, and I really like the flavor of it. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the videos, and uh, thanks for watching.